If you want the gills, we got the skills right here at 302 Fishing. Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel here. Back out here on another chilly weekend trying to get some fish on the end of the line. Guys, uh, after this intro, I'm gonna put a tiny little clip here. As I walked up trying to film my intro, this gentleman landed an absolute slaunch of a fish. And I can't wait for you guys to see it because uh, it is a great size for where we're at right now. You don't see them too often, but boy, oh boy, that was a little fatty that he caught, man. So we'll get that clip to you in a couple seconds, but we're gonna get out here nonetheless. We are coming out here post frontal storm that just came through. And uh, we had a serious ice storm yesterday and it had at least half an inch worth of ice all over everything. Very treacherous driving, so I wasn't able to get out on Friday. Saturday, I couldn't do anything uh, because of, again, that storm. And then now we're out here on Sunday, we're back at the mill pond. Again, until things approve, we're gonna still continue to be right here. But uh, Rob Miller, that's the gentleman right now that caught that uh, fish that's on the end of this uh, spillway right here. He caught on uh, small minnows. <laughs> so maybe the fish are gonna be hitting today, I don't know. But I had to travel two hours to finally, finally find, find the Fire Tiger Little Cleo. Quarter ounce, so we got two of them. The last two are sitting on a shelf and I picked up a pretty cool uh, jerk bait that hopefully maybe we can get something off of that. I don't know, but we're gonna put our efforts through to try to catch some fish. So give me a couple seconds, we'll tie those baits on and hopefully if we're lucky, we get some fish on. All right guys, so I told you that there's a nice looking perch in this mill pond that we like come to all the time. You don't see them too often, but I came up here, I was getting ready to get my video going on right now. And this gentleman is with some minnows right here at the spillway and one to two pounders, as I mentioned, are in here. And look at this thing, man, check it out. Bro, let's see the, see the, oh my God, it's a fatty too, man. That fish has been feeding, but what a nice looking yellow perch. Easily a pound, guys. Every time I catch minnows, uh, I throw them in here. Yeah, he got them on minnows. So, man, and that was in the spillway, guys. Normally, they're right up here where the bridge is at, but uh, great, great catch, He's pretty man. pretty Yeah. All right, getting ready to step up to the water's edge. As I mentioned to you, we traveled two hours to get this color right here because they've not had it for weeks in Delaware. This is the Fire Tiger, little Cleo, as I mentioned to you. It's a quarter ounce. And, of course, you've seen David using this big old gold spoon, so we're going to pop that out there. And then, uh, as I said, we got a jerk bait uh, that we're gonna pop out there. It's one of those jerk baits, you jerk it, and it just literally sits there. It does not move at all. It just suspends and hangs. And hopefully we can get something off of that. But I'll bring that in front of you and I'll mention the name and everything else like that and where I got it from uh, as the video goes by. But let's go ahead and try to get the, these uh, spoons out here, see if we can get something going. If nothing happens up here, I'm gonna give myself about two hours on this side right here. I have worms in a car and we will go down and do the pan fish thing <laughs> just to get something on the end of the line. But enough of that. Let's uh, go ahead and grab our rod right here and get to work. Got to make sure I have uh, some firm footing here. The boots that I have right now, uh, they're leaking so I can't use them. So again, with all the snow and ice, I have to be careful where I'm stepping because it's very treacherous right around here right now. But I want you to pay special attention to where I'm getting ready to point to right now. A lot of people have some big old cojones in life. Uh, obviously, we got two people last week who were on kayaks, but this guy's got the big cojones. So in between my hand and my rod, look straight ahead, guys. That's a guy on a paddle board in winter. Mind you, it's only 31 degrees. So you figure, one slip, my man's done. You will never catch me out there on a paddle board, but that's truly insane, man. So hopefully that guy's catching some fish today, but <laughs> let's try to do the same. Here we go. God, I hope we get something off this fire tiger, man. I've been making noise about this whole spoon the whole time, and it's been lighting up these chain pickerel. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, fish here for a little bit. I am gonna go over to the dock area where he's getting ready to go to right now, and throw out that way too for a, for a little bit. And again, as I said, if we do not get anything, we'll, we'll have to get the desperation mode on and uh, get those little fish on the end of the line. Water is super, super clear. Yeah, see him out there? Look at the point of my rod. He's right to the left of it. <laughs> Just barely a whisper of wind. I finally bought a pair of gloves. Uh, as I told you, we went two hours to get this bait here. We actually went to uh, Bass Pro Shops over in uh, 
Arundel Mills, that's over in Hanover, Maryland. Uh, Oakster, who is a part of this channel, he had a bunch of cards because uh, next week uh, is going to be his 40th birthday. So, Oakster, happy birthday, bud. Uh, many, many years of fishing with this gentleman right here on our, my channel, man. And uh, he has mentioned to me he will be coming back in about two weeks uh, to go ahead and try to show me up because uh, he only got out. He, he actually went through our whole channel yesterday and he only fished four times last year because, again, that new job he just got uh, has taken up so much of his time. But hopefully now he's settled down in, in his new work and he can get out here a little bit more often. But uh, I can't wait for that to happen, man, because, uh, again, I do miss him here. He, it's a great rival. You guys love it, man, because we always banter back and forth with each other, trash talk. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep this thing afloat, as I always do, uh, during the run this time. But uh, I'm happy for him, man. He wasn't too happy that he's turning 40 this week. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. I'm going to be 54 next month, so he can join that crowd if you like. Supposedly today is going to get up to 39 degrees, but I really don't see it. It's very overcast right now as you can see the remnants from that storm that came through But how about the size of that perch you guys saw at the beginning of the episode man was that a nice looking perch? If you guys uh, have ever caught yellow perch in your life man drop a comment below man Let me know the biggest yellow perch you've caught whether it be on land or uh, on a boat I'd be curious to know but again, like I said one to two pounds is uh the unicorn here in Delaware, again, you can catch all the small ones all day long, but uh, it's something kind of special when you get those uh, big ones like that gentleman had. But this uh, mill pond is truly impressing me with the amount of giants that are in here, man. I would have never thought. I knew it had big bass, but I didn't realize it had big pickle in here. And, of course, we already know. We saw the uh, nice-looking uh, yellow perch here. Like we got one on guys we got one on yeah that's a fighter guys we definitely got one on there we go guys need a net need a net i got one right beside me i got a big one uh we got a decent size fish on guys we got to keep it on got a gentleman's gonna do me this assist right here i think we got a, we got a pickle guys and that's right to my left oh yeah here we go guys oh we got <laughs> we definitely got one on i'm going he's coming around behind me right now to my left where is he at? What do we got, guys? Is that a pickle or a bass? Oh, he's pulling line. He's pulling line. Oh, it's a nice looking pickle, guys. Holy mess. Here we go. The Cleo comes through. He is a runner. Right there to your left. To your left. All right. Let me drag him around. He is a runner, guys. He's a runner. All right. The Cleo, the Fire Tiger Cleo comes through, guys. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> All righty. Thank you, sir, for the assist. That looks like a good two to three pound uh, chain pickle, guys. And I gotta see if I have the uh, the uh, scale on the car. So give me a couple seconds. All right, I've been waiting for one of these guys. You don't know. <laughs> I'm pumped, guys. I'm pumped. I finally landed one. Dave and Maddie, here we go. <laughs> All right. Nice looking chain pickle. That is my PB, guys. Way above my PB. All right, I was finally able to land my PB chain pickerel. Look at this beat up tail. That fish has been fighting out there. All right, here we go. We got two pounds, 2.93 pounds, guys. Almost a three pound chain pickerel. <laughs> All righty then. The slimy critter finally comes onto the end of my line. <laughs> Once again, guys, holy crap. <laughs> but uh, let's get that fish out there and get it on its way. And she's gone. Boom. I think I'm going to gingerly try to get down here without busting my butt here because I kind of want to be down near the water so I have a, a better shot with this net right here. So I'm going to fix my rod here and turn it around, prepare it for where I'm going to be at. And uh, let's see if we can get away with uh, getting down here without hurting ourselves. 
There we go. Again, I have to attribute it to the, to the gold color because, like I said, silver wasn't doing anything. But if you notice, there's gold. It's not silver in the middle of that fire tiger pattern. And of course, on the bottom is gold as well. So I think that's the color that's attracting them because I tried many other fire tiger baits and they weren't hitting it. But. But look how super clear that water is. <laughs> they should have no trouble seeing that bait at all. Got our worms right here. And I'm gonna try to make it down safely here and uh, head my way over to this section right here. Just trying not to be over casting on the young lady right here. But uh, he has offered me some small minnows if I don't catch anything on the worms, but I wanna jig this off the bottom first to see if the bigger perch are there. And if they're not, we'll get those little minnows on there and hopefully definitely we'll land some because he's already caught maybe a half dozen perch uh, as well as she did too as well. But I always gotta try to make it harder on myself for harder on myself first <laughs> before taking the easy route. But we got slop right here, so I gotta be careful. I don't want to land on that and then bust my rear end. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, thing going on here. All right, let's get our first worm on here. I got the traditional night crawlers rather than the uh, green ones that I get. And uh, we're going to start plopping this on the bottom, man. Hopefully we can get a nice looking perch out of here. They are definitely biting. So why not join in on the party? <laughs> but uh, she's right over here with her bobber, so I'm gonna kind of be in this area right here to just to stay away from her. But uh, let's see if we can get one of these uh, porkers on the end of this line. There's a hit right there. We got fish on. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got a nice, oh, look at this nice looking perch, guys. Nice. This is definitely a PB perch for me here. All right. <laughs> it's a good day today, guys. Look at this fatty, guys. Are you kidding me? Wow, two PBs in one day. Outstanding. Look at this beautiful yellow perch. I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, he don't want to open his mouth up. Come on. We're definitely going to get a weight on this perch, but give me a couple seconds, man. He is clamping up hard. We'll let him relax. Look at the size of that perch, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let me show this off a little bit better here. What an absolute gorgeous perch. Look at the fat belly on that perch, man. He is feeding up pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to weigh him if I can. All right, I'm going to get a quick picture of this. We're going to try to see if this fish will relax. But uh, that's definitely a big old perch for me. All right, the fish uh, took a jump out of my uh, hand here. We're going to try to quick measure him. He will not open his mouth. So I don't recommend doing what I'm doing right now, guys. But this is the only way we're going to be able to get an official weight. So I'm going to gently put him on his gill right here. He looks like about a pound. But we're gonna find out in a second. I'm gonna gingerly just hang him right here. And he is almost a pound, 0.72 guys, very, very close. What a beautiful perch that is. First cast guys, right on, right on uh, night crawlers. <laughs> but uh, let's see if we can try to get this fish back in here and revive him. I'm so excited. I've got two PBs and one day. Outstanding, my fingers are freezing like you don't know. But we're going to try to get this fish quickly back in the water. Hopefully uh, that drop didn't stun the fish that much, but he was shaking a little bit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're skating, guys. <laughs> Almost drama there. <laughs> the thing is, will this fish swim away respectfully? No. We stunned them, guys. All right, we gotta revive him up a little bit. I knew as soon as we dropped him, he got stunned. Stop. 
but uh, we'll get that going. If anything, guys, if the fish doesn't come back, we can take him home. He is legal size. Yeah, I think that drop was too much for him, guys. Like I said, I dropped him, and the fish just got stunned completely. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take this fish home, man. We can uh, cook this one up because it's a legal size, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, 100%. All right, so we're going to throw that off to the side, but I'm not crying about it. That's food. <laughs> Great looking perch. I felt bad that that fish uh, hit the ground, guys. That's why you gotta be careful when you handle these fish, man. He just, it's that quick. He flips like that and it's over with. Looks like he might have come back to life, guys. You can see his uh, dorsal's coming up right here. So that might be a possibility we can get this fish back into the water and he can live another day. Let's see what happens here. Not a good sign, guys. <laughs> He's moving now. He flipped around. All right, guys, let's just do this. Because as soon as I put him down, he's flipping around. The worst that's going to happen is he's going to float, and it'll be uh, some bait for the turtles. But let's go ahead and uh, get that in there. Oh, look, look, he just swam away. Did you see that? <laughs> as soon as he hit the water, he said, just get your hands off of me. <laughs> he swam right away. I saw that tail move right along, guys. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for keeping that fish alive. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> All right, I feel better now. <laughs> oh, Yeah, it's my biggest yellow perch I caught and the biggest chain pickle I caught today. Yes. Oh, look at this, guys. Nice fish here. Oh boy. We got a nice fighter, guys. Look at this. Oh man, it's a good one, guys. Another one. What do we got here? This thing is tugging really. Oh no. <laughs> here we go. Another huge, huge yellow perch. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. We're going to have another perch palooza today. Look at that pretty perch, guys. Outstanding. Not as big as the other one, but look at the beautiful dorsal right on that fish. It, again, is like prehistoric to me. Wow, these are way bigger than that last perch episode. I'm super excited. Second cast, two perch. <laughs> there we go, guys. She's gone. That could be a potential turtle, guys, or it could be a potential carp sitting right there where those bubbles are coming up. Or just air. <laughs> Caught in the dirt. Oh, there's a hit right there. Come on. Pull it. Pull it. Come on. There you go. Fish on. What do we got? Another yellow perch, guys. All right. <laughs> Boom. I'm digging this, guys. Loving the tug. So one of the defense mechanisms on a yellow perch here, and it's always the same with the white perch, is if you notice, when you go to grab these fish, see how they flare? They flare their gills out. You gotta be very careful. See how that is right there? You grab onto that real quick and not paying attention, especially a white perch, it's like putting your hand right onto a razor blade and it'll cut your fingers right wide open. So be careful when you're uh, handling these fish. But boom, there we go. There we go, we got fish on. There we go, I think we got him. Uh, I think I missed him. Nope, he's on there. <laughs> Look at this little guy. <laughs> That's per that's a perfect bait. That's a perfect bass snack right there. <laughs> he ate that whole big piece of worm. <laughs> Go on there, little buddy. On a hunch, I knew right after that severe ice storm uh, that I mentioned earlier uh, that the temperature was going to rise a little bit. And I said, I bet you five dollars we're going to get fish today. The following day after that storm, and uh, guess what, guys? 
we did and two pbs got caught here <laughs> i am i'm in an out of body experience right now because i would have never thought that this would have happened i mean i knew we were going to get some fish but never to the uh, level that i've ever caught on these particular species but we went two hours to go ahead and get that little cleo fire tiger spoon soon as i cast it out there 15 minutes bam almost a three pound chain pickle that absolutely eclipses my pb because i'm always catching those small little tiny ones that you saw when we used the uh, jerk bait a few episodes ago it's usually maybe a pound possibly over a pound and a half but never to that size so i was excited for that but absolutely amazing that i turn around because the artificial bait started dying off because i tried a jerk bait and that wasn't happening but i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and grab my night crawlers and let me go down there because remember i told you about the guy at the beginning of the episode had a decent sized yellow perch first cast guys <laughs> almost a one pound yellow perch again breaking and shattering my yellow perch pb so two pbs in one episode man i am thoroughly excited man you guys don't even know to me it's a banger hopefully to you it's a banger man but we caught some excellent yellow perch right after that i got that little scare about that one perch i dropped i thought i killed him and i was trying to revive him man but Again, I saw moves laying on the ground because we we're going to eat them. And I said, like, you know what? Let me just try one more time. So I just flipped them right in the water and he just swam right away, man. So maybe he just didn't want me to touch them. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm so glad that that fish did swim off, uh, you know, unscathed, even though he got a little stunned. But that was kind of my fault and the fish's fault because he shouldn't have moved. But anyway, I'm absolutely giddy, man. You can see it by the smile on my face. Hopefully you guys would have enjoyed that episode. Like, subscribe. Push that notification bell. Share this video out. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Hopefully you're catching your PBs. And as always, guys, fish on.